Hello students, welcome to Shorosa's classes. The, here we have the question from year 2016 and uh, it's a simple integration they have given uh, with the lower and upper limit. We need to solve it. Okay. Here we have to do integration by parts. So with the by parts, how to proceed with this one? Just here, write it integration of uh, fx dx so this is if you just do it it is minus x cos x presuming that you know this part so it's plus c so obviously just by putting it uh, here so integration of 0 to pi by 2 fx dx is f of pi by 2 minus f of 0 that is 1 minus 0 itself is 1 so quite a straight one so the answer is 1 in this case now we are proceeding to the next one this question says let f equal to r to r so what is the meaning function in the same real plane defined as follows in some of the question you may see r2 to r3 so that means second uh, and there they, they write it like t so that means a linear transform non-linear transformation from two to three dimension in that way but here it isn't like this it's a very structural formation of function and this too Okay. So now, fx equal to a x plus b where x is positive and sine 2x where x is negative. So for what values of a and b is f continuous but not differentiable. For here, one important thing about the theorem. If a function is continuous, it may or may not be differentiable, may or may not be differentiable. But differentiable function has to be continuous. So continuity is a necessary condition for differentiability but not sufficient. Whereas differentiability is a sufficient condition for continuity. Okay. So now coming to this question here. So um, a limit of x tends to 0 minus, that is the negative side, fx equal to 0, at b equal to 0 if we take. So b equal to 0 for fx to be continuous at x equal to 0. Okay, and limit x tends to 0 plus, that is a positive side, fx equal to b. So it's the same applicable for both. Now, if we take a look into this area, now, so we take a darker color here for this. Now, the right hand differentiability check in R of f dash 0 is t dx of ax plus b at x 10, 0 positive. So this is nothing but a itself. And the left hand limit f dash 0 d dx. This is sine 2x, x equal to 0 minus, and that is equal to 2. So, a not equal to 2, so a equal to 1, and b equal to 0. So, a equal to 1, and b equal to 0 just by solving. So, we can see that the answer is d. Next question. Next question. 